And welcome back, everybody. We are on to box two of this case of Dynasty Flesh and Blood. We'll, uh, send my other videos. We're still hunting for some, uh, still hunting for the fabled. Would love to see the, uh, the, the Marvel Emperor. Not, uh, not holding my breath on that one, but, uh, hey, if that's something we could pull. That would be awesome. Wouldn't mind seeing some of the other, uh, other Marvels come out. Uh, those uh, those definitely feel a lot tougher to pull out of these boxes, even in a single case, than uh, than it was when uh, when it was open uprising. Um, I'll have some uprising boxes coming in the near future as well for uh, for you to watch. Um, but yeah, the, uh, those marvels are pretty tough to hit. Uh, some of them are starting to sell for a little more. There was a bit of a spike on uh, Soraya. Just uh, that, that uh, I think was selling last uh, last sale was probably a little over a little over five hundred dollars on uh, on it um, as the uh, as the high. So it's looking uh, looking pretty good value wise. Not too many out there right now for uh, for people to buy. Um, but. If you can, uh, if you can sell one, or you're okay with getting uh, getting a little less than uh, than 500, no, oh, there we go. Amethyst tiara. There's a marvel. Talking about how hard it is to uh, to hit these, and last two cases I've cracked now, I've gotten a cold foil marvel. That I'll sleeve that bad boy up. Grab some of those. So yeah. I, those are, I, I gotta say, those are just, uh, I, the design and what they get with them, it's just, they're just beautiful. I mean, they are, uh, definitely a nice, uh, have a nice color to them. Um, and being, uh, being all black, kind of having that blacked out, uh, blacked out frame, text box, title box, everything. Um, just makes them, uh, makes them look really cool. Um, whoops, that doesn't go there. Gives them a little, a uh, little different look than uh, than the other Marvels. I mean, can't uh, can't complain about the the Marvel dragons from Uprising. I mean, those uh, those dragons just look really, really nice in their uh, in their full arts and uh, double sided. Um, but again, I mean that uh, that dark uh, that dark background with the dark border and everything that just. Uh, Really gives it the uh, the little extra little extra kick, something that distinguishes it from the uh, from the marvels that they put in Uprising. So, you're not just looking at the uh, the, the same uh, the same type of card every time they release a marvel. Um, and they started the full art uh, double sided with the with Everfest and putting the putting Bravo in as a uh, as a cold foil, um, it was a pretty cool idea that they uh, that they started with, and moved over to uh, the history packs and making other heroes in the foreign uh, or non English, I'll say, um, history packs that uh, that you could get in that full art cold foil but double sided. Um, so it's kind of neat that they carried that over into. Uh, into uprising and then uh, how they're doing uh, doing some of that with a few of the dynasty cards looks uh, looks pretty sweet as well really uh, really like that double-sided Soraya um, in the uh, in the cold foil and even even better looks even better in the Marvel version so still hunting down for that uh, that command and conquer still hunting down for that Emperor I mean, I don't uh, don't really see myself opening another cold foil in the box, but uh, you never uh, you never know. Um, felt like Uprising was a little more generous with the uh, with the cold foils. I mean, with these, I mean, I watch somebody open a uh, open a case and only get one cold foil in the case, three legendaries to go along with it, but only one cold foil. Um, and uprising, I don't think I ever saw less than uh, less than three cold foils in a uh, in a case. Oh, all right, there we go. Foil majestic and a powder keg. That's uh, that's pretty good. I like the 
using that powder keg, uh, talking about it with Dash, using that powder keg in conjunction with something like the, uh, um, was it T-Bone, uh, so that you can force them to block with some equipment and then just blow the powder keg off so that you can get rid of something that, uh, that they've got that potentially might be, uh, might be bugging you. Um, really good against uh, cracking a mask of momentum if they've if they've got that sitting out. Um, so that's uh, force them to block with the mask and then uh, blow up the powder keg and just watch it go away. And you don't have to worry about it anymore. But you also have to get yourself to a point. It takes a little bit of setup. And uh, if you're playing something like Duramai where, hey, maybe they get, uh, it was a Kai Warrior but some steal an item, uh, I potentially could lose it to, uh, to Kyloria. So, Hey, who knows? All right. Mask Perdition. Those are, uh, those are pretty hot seller at the moment as well. Um, necessary equipment for, uh, for the assassin build. So gets you, gets you some equipment and, uh, is it, you can buy it back. If, uh, yeah, you can, yeah, two silvers and you can buy it back. So it's, uh, it's kind of a neat idea that uh, that the assassin us utilizes it as uh, something and then uh, then trashes it, gets it, they're done with it. All right, foil never yield. Nice for second uh, foil majestic in the box. Um, but it's like they just uh, go out and buy a different mask to uh, to use. So kind of a neat idea. See if uh, we'll see if they start doing any additional uh, additional buybacks on equipment for uh, for heroes and anything else um, future sets. But all right, we are at the last pack of the box here. Let's see if we can hit some magic in the end. And all right, not bad. Third uh, third foil majestic in the box. So. I uh, felt like they were a little stingier with the foil majestics um, in the first uh, first few cases that I've opened, but it seems it feels like it's evened out a little bit. So, big highlights in the uh, in this box, obviously, this amethyst tiara, that uh, that's pretty good, and got ourselves powder keg, never yield, and tome of Ao. All right. Well, uh, if you like the video, please uh, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't yet, and uh, leave me some com comments. Let me know uh, what you think, what uh, what else you want to see, anything uh, anything I said wrong in the video. Let me know. Rip me up. I'll take it. Um, but yeah, let me uh, let me hear from you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good one.